So I haven't done a video for a while and uh, the reason is that me and Emma have broken up. So I've grown my beard long, I'm not really caring about life. It would be a horrible way to start a vlog, but the way this one's starting is that Emma's a bit sick, so she's not doing anything. But we're currently here in the Himalayas. Our journey before India had been a wild one. From being models for a friend in Europe, faking our way to video jobs in both the Maldives and Sri Lanka, going viral and appearing on Australian television, and the first signs of depression hitting in the Philippines. After exploring some of India's most popular tourist sites, it was time to leave Delhi. Uh, we're gonna get a 13 hour bus overnight, and there's no toilet on it, and guess who's got Delhi Belly? We then arrived in Manali, a town located in the foothills of the Himalayas. We had secured a filming job there in exchange for free food and accommodation, which ended up leading us down an unexpected path. The best thing about this place... It's freezing! It's so cold! <laughs> it's been 40 degrees in Delhi and only going to get hotter in here, I don't know. I don't. It must be like 3 degrees. We're doing a video shoot for a company that does quad biking, but also, weirdly, there is a Hollywood movie being shot here exactly the same place, and we are kicking them off because we're making our own shoot, and they have 182 cast members, they have Academy Award winners, they have uh, Kumar from Howard and Kumar, have you ever seen that? Uh, so we're going to try and infiltrate and make friends with everybody here. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in Hollywood. Little did we know that this actually would lead us to Hollywood within the month where things would start to snowball very fast. Yes, but first we had a job to do. So over here is the ATV track. This is where we're doing um, some of our shooting and then the rest is on these trails that go alongside the river, in the forest, um, or through the mountains. It's amazing. It's really beautiful. Uh, I'll show you some of the footage. Such a blast filming and making some really awesome friends whilst doing it. But Alex kept getting distracted by the movie crew and networking opportunities. Ow, oh, what happened? So, I said it before that there was a movie crew here and we actually got invited to one of their parties. So I went along and it's free alcohol. So obviously I'm drinking, I'm talking to all the best ones, I've got them all in a circle, like being really cool with my pals. And I take a step down and I twist my ankle and I fall down the steps, I throw vodka in my face, the main star just walks past me, doesn't even look at me to pick me up, then uh, the producer comes running to pick me up, then they take me to the director's bedroom where everyone was gathering to watch the footage of the movie so far, and they put me on the bed, so the bed to myself, I was lying there, just there like this, with the TV in front while all of the movie crew, celebrities, all staring around this screen uncomfortably on the floor. And that was just all in one day, that was a really crazy day, and then the next day we get to meet Kao Pen, who is Kumar from Howard and Kumar, and he is just the most normal guy you're ever gonna meet. He wants to just go hiking and stuff, so we're gonna try and do a Travel Beans episode with Kao Pen. Today we're here at the ATV park with Kao Pen, and uh, what brings you here? Uh, well, we're shooting a film here, um, and I was done early today, and all these great people were telling me all the awesome things about their, their trails. I was so nervous here. <laughs> <laughs> we had been doing this whole fake it till you make it up until this point. <laughs> and it was quite hard to fake it around people who actually know what they're doing. <laughs> Obviously gorgeous. Like, uh, this kind of makes me want to go further up and like climb and camp. Yeah. Have you been here before? I have not. Have you? No, this is our first time. I've been here like a week and a half. Yeah. I love it. So nice. It's completely changed our idea of India as well. Yeah, I've never been to North India. Totally, it's a very diverse country. Yeah. So. Cool. Do you have a favorite country? Of course, I'm American. <laughs> America. Are you committed to saying that because you work for Obama? <laughs> I really believe it, come on! But, but one of the things I enjoy about America is the diversity, right? If you, go to, if you go to New York or Mississippi or Florida or Seattle, they're all totally different states or cities. Um, and it is a pretty diverse country in its own right. 
Oh, what a surprise! <laughs> An American saying that America is their favorite country. <laughs> you know, they're not listening in. You can say something else. You don't have to say America. Today we're going on a trek and a road trip with some of the movie crew, and look at that view. And it's not a uh, stationary yeah. shot. The oh, camera's cool. always moving, yeah. and they make total use of the space. Like. Uh, I've never trekked at altitude before and I can tell you that every step makes it so much harder. I'm not really that fit though, I, uh, I drink a lot, I don't do any exercise so that could be part of it but I think it's the altitude. No, I know it is. Alex, you gotta lie in there, lie in there, on your back, flat. Own it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Bit of a roadblock here on our trek. Hello. Oh my god. Oh, oh hello. Oh hello. <laughs> As we became better friends with the crew, it got harder and harder to focus on the filming job, but we had to keep working and it was pretty fun to be fair. So we're at our friend Veer's ATV park. He's got a rally going on today. We're going to be making videos. It's Himalayan Extreme. <laughs> Can all the bikers come and line up? The race is about to start. <laughs> C2 Avenash, are you ready? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. How are you feeling for the big race? It's going to be easy. Beat Alex by two seconds. I'm pretty sure I'm going to beat Dara by four seconds. <laughs> How are you feeling after your terrible performance last time? <laughs> um, ready to beat your white ass. Congratulations. I mean, waited for this moment my whole life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I'd like to thank all my fans, my family, but most of all, myself. On paper, at this time, everything seemed like it was going really well for us, but actually, alongside that, my depression was starting to sort of take hold a lot harder and it was even affecting our relationship at that point. Yeah, there were so many interesting sort of opportunities presenting themselves that I especially wanted to pursue. I just couldn't even like comprehend the idea of pursuing these things because it was just way too overwhelming for me and to be quite honest I just felt like I was drowning in it all. And unfortunately things were about to get a lot worse as we started to film a pilot for a TV show with some of the movie crew on their days off. Mm, and in hindsight that was actually a really bad idea because I think that's pressure that I just didn't need to be putting on myself at that time. Our friendship with Cal is actually completely separate to all of this and he would actually end up turning out to be a huge source of strength in regards to advice and being so supportive of our situation. Something that he said to me months later has stuck with me since that time but although we're not at that point in the story yet it is amazing how these little small things to someone can actually be a really big thing to someone else. I think in all honesty we wouldn't have pursued YouTube the way that we did if it wasn't for advice that we got from him so for that I'll be grateful for a very very long time and with the success of some of our recent videos we have noticed the comment section just blowing up and some of them are amazing, thoughtful, kind, heartwarming comments and other ones 
are on the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> so after doing this for so long, we're pretty used to it now, so it doesn't really affect us too much. Although if you catch us on a bad day, then of course it can. But the things that we do say actually have an effect on other people. Definitely. And hopefully just we as a community can be part of at least the positive side of that. Mm. So we can just make other people feel good. Exactly. It, and it's it's inevitable that you're gonna say the wrong thing sometimes. So I guess as long as we're all kind of making a conscious effort to move in the right direction a little bit, maybe that can rub off on each other and we can all have a slightly better day. <laughs> So leave in the comments, have you been to the Himalayas? Would you mm. like to visit? Also, who are your celebrity friends? <laughs> <laughs> And on a side note, the ATV company that we worked with in Manali was called The Alternate Terrain. We will leave a link in the description down below. As soon as travel opens up again, if anyone wants to go to India, I highly recommend that experience. So if you would like to see more of this story as it unravels, make sure you hit subscribe. Press the like button yep. as well. And hit the <laughs> notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time and beans out! What's your name? What's up, bro? What's up, bro?